Hey, I'm Bryce. Um, I'm the supervisor at the Arcade Library, which is home to uh, our library of things. So we have a lot of different types of items for checkout. Um, guitars, GoPro cameras, um, just kind of all sorts of, of, of different types of items. Um, it's also home to the design spot. So that's where we house all of our 3D printers um, and our machines that have different um, kinds of CAD software on them. Uh, and then, of course, it's home to Alt Library. Um, and with Alt Library, we use Tumblr for our blog. Uh, so it's altlibrary.com. And then we use um, Meetup, clearly, for uh, posting uh, events. And one of the things that I really like about Meetup is that from, from idea to promotion, it's, it can just take a couple minutes if you want it to. So you can really um, you know, put things through quickly. So it's good for um, experimenting with different programs and kind of seeing what the, um, the feedback is. So this is a, um, a, an example uh, of, of one of the programs that we're experimenting with. What we've discovered is that when people RSVP, a lot of times, um, it, you know, it's not a good indicator of how many people are actually going to show up and attend, but it's a good indicator of interest. So with on-ground workshops, because we're moving more in a, in a virtual kind of programming direction, um, we... If we get 10 or more um, RSVPs, then we'll go ahead and we'll go through with the, with the program. So you can see from this example that we, we brand things uh, a little differently. Um, Alt Library is meant, um, or, or the niche that we're looking to fill is kind of that 20s and 30s um, uh, programming, so as far as uh, age group. Uh, so you'll see that you know, it could be something like uh, beginning guitar, but instead we'll do something like you know, guitar learned the bare minimum needed to impress people and animals. So you might have like pick slides and power chords and, and different types of things. And then this is tied into our library of things where we have guitars for checkout. So it goes back to kind of our more um, um, less expected types of uh, offerings. And we still weave ourselves into different community programs. So we partnered with uh, a local uh, makerspace that they were doing a robo sumo. So um, we were part of that, and we went ahead and we built uh, Zumo robots, and so a lot of us learned how to um, solder and things like that, and it was really great content to put on the, the Tumblr. And then with our design spot where we have our 3D printers, we went ahead and made different kind of, um, kind of covers for some of the, the robots. So again, it's tying it into just you know, different things that we're, we're offering, and it's um, you know, an excellent platform to, to tell our story and, and market things in a certain way. We still um, kind of jump on the wagon with certain things, certain trends uh, when they're hot, uh, and then we jump off of that wagon fairly quickly. So uh, we recently did um, you know, a Pokemon Go event. Uh, we did adult coloring for a while last year. So the nice thing about Meetup is that we can cycle through and kind of gauge interest a lot of times based on um, RSVPs. Uh, and then it's, you know, it doesn't take much staff time. So it's just a couple minutes you can throw something out there. If it um, gets a decent amount of feedback that's, um, or, or, or uh, generates a certain amount of interest, that's great. If not, we just throw something else out there and see what happens. And this is an, an example of that. So sometimes it's just an idea. So we went ahead and wove this into um, our, our booked-in offerings. From uh, It's part of our Friends of the Library. So we have this warehouse where we have items for sale. Uh, and so it was the idea of building a, or creating a book with a secret compartment. So we just went ahead and did a tutorial on our Tumblr and then posted the event on Meetup to just kind of generate um, uh, you know, a little more uh, buzz and, and let people know that, hey, we've, we have items for sale as well. We still have the traditional um, book clubs, and we're going out to uh, you know, different kind of uh, places to hold them. So a lot of times it's coffee shops. Uh, we'll go to different parts of town and, and hold the, the book, uh, book club at different restaurants and stuff like that. Uh, something that we're trying this month is uh, I like weaving programs into um, you know, other events, like if it's Halloween or something like that. So a couple of days before Halloween, we'll be discussing Stephen King's It, but we're going to just do it virtually, and we're gonna kinda go old school with it because we're gonna do it on IRC. So it's just one of those things where we're uh, continually um, you know, experimenting with things. 
And we've been experimenting with seeing if um, users want to submit content and, and be part of different kind of collaborative creative projects. So one of the things that kind of flopped, but it was fun to do, was um, we had this uh, coloring book disaster program. And the idea was to, to weave the submissions um, or print, print the submissions with our um, espresso book machine that we have at the central library and then add that to the reference collection and that would be tied into some of the adult coloring programs but they would be original works um, but there was a fair amount of buzz but i only had a few people submit um, drawings but there's a really great one of a dolphin riding a bicycle so uh, the, another um, kind of experimental program we did we had a fair amount of uh, donated cassettes um, that went through our friends groups and so I started saving them. Uh, and then we opened up, we were like, okay, let's try to do like a tape compilation or something like that. So we opened up submissions for local artists to send us uh, a track or two. And then we partnered with a, uh, an entity in the community that had a tape duplicator. And then with the, um, the actual cassette cases, we printed those, we designed them and printed them in our um, design spot at the arcade library. So a whole bunch of different colors and everything. And, People that are part of that, we're still actually working on it. People that are part of that, that submitted um, their musical works, then they'll get a, a, a cassette and a custom case. Sometimes, too, just looking at um, you know, the, the, the different tools you have available to you at your library. So we kind of just fell into the circuit bending thing. Um, a colleague and I, we noticed that there was, we had a, um, like a program box that had soldering irons, and then we used some recycled wire from an old keyboard, and we borrowed a drill from facilities. And so we decided to um, take one of um, the uh, thrift store keyboards that we had and kind of experiment and try to circuit bend um, that item, which we, we were successful. It turned out kind of neat, so we decided to go ahead, and we have a SoundCloud page too. So looking at Meetup and, and looking how you can kind of pull in um, you know, different kind of users from different online communities, that's something that we look at too. Uh, but so that was more of kind of you know, just experimenting and, and you know, just kind of uh, using staff interests, which turned into different programs. We found some makey-makey kits too in another box, so we set up um, bookends, and we were able to hook those up to a laptop and play the bookends like um, bongo drums and other things. And um, you can also make drawings, and then when you touch the, the drawing, then it'll go ahead and trigger a sound, things like that, which patrons really enjoyed. It's that interactive element that you can't have unless it's an on-ground workshop. And we also just do some you know, kind of off, offbeat things now and again to, to see you know, what happens. So we've been experimenting with, with um, virtual programs that encourage exercising and, or, or maybe um, investigating certain diets and things like that. So all of these programs um, tie into promo um, promoting our digital collection uh, for, for the most part, except get fit with Rick and Morty, which was kind of an experiment. Uh, and we also like tying things into, like I said, with like the Halloween event and, and um, you know, different virtual programs like that. The, the New Year uh, Burpee Challenge, uh, a lot of people were interested in that. And so just kind of these ongoing um, programs versus uh, that might extend for like two weeks versus just a one-shot event. So that's kind of um, an overview of the things that we've been trying lately. So really for us, Alt Library and Meetup and Tumblr, we're just constantly experimenting uh, and putting different programs out there and seeing how you know, we can be creative and create more of a buzz for our library. And then also doing things out there in the community and partnering with certain entities to, to bring more people in, and then hopefully they, they join us online. Um, but that's kind of the, the overview of what we've been up to lately. And now we can open it up to some questions. Thank you.